Welcome to St Luke and Christ Church, Chelsea. Thank you for joining us. For 40 days, the Church has been celebrating with joyful hearts the resurrection of Jesus Christ, his bursting from the tomb and his defeat over the power of sin and death. He appeared to his disciples many times and told them about the coming Kingdom of God. On Ascension Day this week, on Thursday, we recalled how he left this earth and returned to his Father, ascending to heaven to take his throne over all dominion and power. Now, trusting in his reign over all creation, submitting to his loving rule, we wait for the coming of the Spirit at Pentecost. Reading from the Gospel according to John. After Jesus had spoken these words, he looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, so that the Son may glorify you, since you have given him authority over all people to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I glorified you on earth by finishing the work that you gave me to do. So now, Father, glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had in your presence before the world existed. I have made your name known to those whom you gave me from the world. They were yours and you gave them to me and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you have given me is from you. For the words that you gave to me, I have given to them, and they have received them, and know in truth that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I am asking on their behalf. I am not asking on behalf of the world, but on behalf of those whom you gave me, because they are yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one, as we are one. Here ends the reading. May I speak and may we hear in the name of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Stay alert was the church's cry during Advent, long before it was borrowed by our government. 
Stay alert, said the church, as we wait for the coming of Christ. Stay alert now as we wait for infection rates to fall, as we wait for the chance to hug our grandchildren or go to the pub or to a cricket match or back to school. Stay alert and wait. And quite often in the church's year, we are waiting in Advent, on Holy Saturday, and now in this strange time between Ascension and Pentecost, where we wait for the gift of the Holy Spirit, after Jesus, as we heard, has prayed for that Spirit to be upon his disciples. Yet waiting is, if I'm anything like typical, not the easiest thing to do. Eamon Duffy, a renowned contemporary Cambridge historian, has talked of his experience of waiting most movingly. His friend, a priest, died young, and he says, with that horror came the realisation that for me God was gone. All the arguments, the emotional scaffolding I'd built up into my life, gone. I no longer even wanted to believe. I felt embarrassed by my attempts to pray, like a, man caught talk, like a man caught talking to himself in a railway carriage. He describes how all he could do was wait and wait. And when an inkling of faith returned, he says, I had little recollection of the process, except it seemed to me not so much my choice, but a gift. As I sat in church after communion one Sunday, simply looking at the people walking up to the altar to receive, I was overwhelmed by an overflowing sense of companionship and gratitude. Now Eamon Duffy waited amongst those who had faith, waited in the church community, knowing, however subconsciously, that only together can we truly be the body of Christ? In Luke's story of this section, in the Acts of the Apostles, Luke says the disciples and Jesus' other friends went back into the city together after Jesus left them. Together. And so important is this being together as the cradle for discipleship that Luke even writes the names of the followers who hung together as they returned to Jerusalem. Peter and John, James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James son of Alphaeus, Simon the Zealot, Judas son of James, and the women, including Mary the mother of Jesus and Jesus' brothers. We might say, yes, Brian and Sam, and Ramani and Emily, and Charles, and Simon, and Jamie, and Fleur, and Norman, and Valerie, and so many other names that come to our minds. Together, waiting, working, praying, giving, acting. Even if by Zoom, together. And together is more than just the sum of the parts. It's what's made the Christian community's response to COVID-19 in this and many other parishes so wonderfully inspirational. Not a backs to the wall spirit, but a realization that all we have is gift, not earned. And if gift, then for sharing. Our loved ones, our friends, our finances, our homes, our culture, our gift. Gift like the gift of the Spirit of God which we await at Pentecost, not deserved, not reward, but simply lavished upon us because that's what God is like. The God who invites us to be part of his life when we continually seek to close ourselves off from him, he just goes on lavishing and inviting until we can see and feel and know the Spirit again. Wait then, that the Spirit might help us to write the RSVP to God's ever generous invitation to himself, written into our hearts 
our minds, our lives. Amen. Let us pray. We thank you, Lord, for the work of the Church in our world, for our clergy and church leaders working hard in our parish and beyond to do your will and setting an example for us all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those throughout the world who have nothing, without shelter, without security, without peace. Be near them, Lord, in their hardship and suffering. Spread your loving kindness over all the world, that we may know of your boundless love for us, always and forever. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Let us pray for our community in this parish, the congregations of our two churches and all those finding us online. Lord, we thank you for the very many blessings we enjoy, even in these difficult times, for family, friendship, and good fellowship. Preserve and strengthen, Lord, all those ties of mutual obligation freely entered into, which enrich our common life and give our community purpose and the resourcefulness to keep going into better times. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who are sick, 
who face this day in fear, pain or uncertainty about what the future holds. Lord, enfold with your healing those who are ill in our hospitals, our care homes and at home and protect all who look after and care for them. In our community, we pray especially for John Hutchinson, Louise Diggle, Mary Holness, Ian Fraser, Ian Lowe, Deborah Sidwell, Neil Buckingham, Margaret Harris, David Mayer, Izzet, John Bell, Marigot Pugh, Edward Harvey, and Prima Deva. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lastly, let us pray for those who have died. In particular, we hold in our thoughts today Athol Doherty and Vasuki Hitchcock. And in a moment of quiet, anyone else known to us who has died at any time and whom we have cared for, loved and mourned. Lord, comfort the bereaved and let the spirit of those who have gone before live on in our hearts and minds always. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. So let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And God the Father, who has given to his Son the name above every name, strengthen you to proclaim Jesus Christ as Lord. God the Son, who is our great High Priest passed into the heavens, plead for you at the right hand of the Father. God the Holy Spirit, who pours out his abundant gifts upon the Church, make you faithful servants of Christ our risen and ascended King, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.